Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Ben, and this is another Game Maker tutorial. And we're going to do a platform tutorial today. Now, I've already done a platform tutorial in the past, and I actually did this platform tutorial, but one of the viewers, one of my viewers, was able to find a glitch in it, and it was a simple mistake that I made. And I wanted to fix it because I don't want to lead you guys down astray. I don't want to lead you astray. So let's get started. First we're going to create a new sprite. We're going to call this sprite player. Edit the sprite and just 32 by 32. Going to make it white. Just a filler sprite for now. Awesome. And we're going to duplicate that object. And we're going to create an, er, that sprite. We're going to call this sprite solid. And I'm going to make it black. And now I'm going to create two objects. And this first one is going to be called Object Solid. And just assign the sprite to this object, but don't make it solid. We don't need it to be solid. Um, and we're going to call this one Object Player. And do the same. I'm excited to do this tutorial for you guys. I uh, Sorry I had to take down the other one and make it private for now because of the glitch but it, it like killed me it like drove me nuts there was that little glitch and I'd already recorded the video so and it was kind of a major glitch actually <laughs> so I fixed it though easy fix actually once I found it it's just I wasn't able to test the code enough so create a new room and we're gonna call this room test and we're gonna give it a background color of just this red color just because and I'm going to put some of these solid objects in here and um, uh, the thing that was wrong with the other one is that you couldn't hit stuff on a ceiling above you so just to make sure that this works now I'm actually going to add in some brick above that you can bump into and made that room and let's put in our player awesome okay now let's get into coding and we're gonna open up the player object we're gonna add a new event we're gonna add a create event and then we're gonna add in a script well yeah it's a code it's not necessarily a script but okay and then we're gonna do uh, three slash marks and in initialize variables and you can see because we did the three slash marks right here at the very start that will now show as the text right here so that's a cool little trick to show you now we're going to um, actually create these variables so let's do grav we don't want to use gravity or speed or any of those you we want it to be grav um, because if we use gravity that will mess with the, the internal programming of game maker speed equals four J speed equals 12, H speed equals 0, and V speed equals 0. Okay, so these are some variables that we're going to need for our platform game. Now we're going to create a step event, and inside this step event, we're going to add some more code, and this is going to be move the play. Well, let's just put um, platform physics. Yeah, they're not really like physics, but they're pretty good. So, so we're going to create some variables really quick, and they're going to have the var keyword because they're going to be local variables. R key equals keyboard check vk right var l key equals keyboard check vk left var up. Well, let's see var j key equals keyboard check vk up which is just going to be our jump key so the var keyword means that these right here can only be used inside of the script and the other neat thing is now instead of doing if <coughs> keyboard check like we used to we can just do if r key and it does the same thing. We're setting this whole thing equal to this variable right here. Awesome, right? 
really easy, very convenient. But that's actually not the next code we're going to do. We're going to do a check for the ground code. And that is if place meeting x y plus 1 object solid. So we're going to check to see if um, the ground is one pixel under us. So y plus 1 is going to be down 1 and we're checking to see if that ground is under us right there. If it is, we're going to want to do some things. The first thing we're going to want to do is set v speed equal to 0 because we're touching the ground so we don't want to be moving or at least vertically. And then after that we're going to do a jumping code because we can only jump when we're on the ground. So we're going to do if j key v speed equals negative j speed. So basically j speed, which we created in the create event, is our jump variable. And it's 12, but we want it to be negative because we want to go up. So we're just checking if they press the jump key, which is up right here. If they did, they're going to jump. But this is inside of all of this right here. Why? because we only want them to be able to jump when they're on the ground. Now we're going to do an else afterwards, after this right here on line 15, if you're styling it the way I am. And this is going to be what's happened when we're, what's happening when we're in the air, right? This is if we're on the ground, else we're in the air, right? So what are we going to do when we're in the air? Um, we're going to move down with gravity. So we're going to do if v speed is less than 10, um, v speed plus equals grav. So what does that do? It just checks to see if uh, 10 is like our, our terminal velocity. If we haven't reached 10 yet for our v speed, then add gravity to it. But if we have reached 10, then we won't add gravity anymore because we've reached Ter terminal velocity. We'll continue to move down though because we'll still have a um, vertical speed. So now we're going to do moving to the right. And this is easy. If r key um, h speed equals speed. Right? Now moving left. If l key h speed equals negative speed because if we want to move to the left that's the negative direction in the x direction right okay now we're going to do um, check for not oops somehow my thing got up there check for not moving and this one's pretty easy we're going to do I'm going to write it out and then explain it if um, not R key and not L key or R key and L key V speed equals zero and I meant to say H speed so change this to H speed <clears throat> awesome okay um, now, what we need to do is, okay, so what this does, this um, is checking if we're pressing the right key and the left key, well, no, 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 if we're not pressing the right key and we're not pressing the left key, we want to set our horizontal speed to zero. If we are pressing the right key and we're pressing the left key, if we're pressing them both at the same time, we also want to set our horizontal speed to zero. So those are the two cases. And we can choose either one. If they're doing either one of these things, then we want to set it to zero. That's why we have the or case here. So this is an and, and this is an or. And you can see I've got double parentheses because of the way I want to group it. These are anded together. These are anded together. And then the two separate ones are ORed, and that's crucial. Now this next spot I would recommend putting in a script, but because more than just your player object is going to use this. But for the sake of this example, I'm not going to put it in a script. 
So we're just going to leave it in this code. It's going to add a few more lines of code to this, but it's not really a big deal. So we're going to do <coughs> horizontal collisions. And this code is pretty complicated, so I'm going to write it out and then explain it to you right after. If um, place meeting x plus h speed plus, oops, <laughs> x plus h speed, y object solid, while um, while not place meeting x plus sine h speed that's crucial that you do the sign there y object solid and that one x plus equals sine h speed okay and then after that move horizontally x plus equals h speed awesome now let me explain this code what this does is it checks to see if the next spot that we're going to be moving into with our h with our horizontal speed has a solid there right it checks over to see if there's a solid if there is one it's going to check while we're not touching that solid because sine of h speed is going to either return 1 or negative 1 so this is only checking one pixel over depending on whether we're going left or right but it's only going to check one pixel over so if one pixel over is not the solid then we're going to move one pixel over so we're going to move one pixel at a time until we come up against the edge of the wall now what that does is it prevents us from moving inside the wall and we'll actually just move right up against it and then stop there. Now right after this we want to put one more code vSpeed equals zero because once we've moved up against the wall we want to stop and that should be hSpeed, sorry, not vSpeed because we're moving horizontally. Now copy this entire code right here from, the horiz from x plus equals hSpeed clear up to horizontal collisions. Okay, copy that, then hit enter twice down here and paste it. So you're going to see there's two, but we're going to change this to vertical collisions and this to move vertically. And instead of x plus h speed, we're going to do y plus v speed. Instead of x plus sine of h speed, take that out. We're going to do y plus sine v speed. And then down here, instead of uh, x plus equals sine h speed, we're going to do y plus equals sine v speed. And then right here, we're going to do v speed equals 0. OK, and that should be everything. There's one super important thing, though. This x plus h equals h speed has to come before our vertical collision check. We have to prioritize x over y. Now, this cool trick right here with these collisions, I learned from one of Sean Spaulding's videos. So if you haven't looked into his videos, be sure and check them out. I changed the initial part a little bit because, uh, well, this is my platform example and I wanted it to be simple for you guys and I figured this seems relatively simple um, if you're pressing the right key your horizontal speed is the speed if you're pressing the left key your horizontal speed is a negative speed so it's really simple kind of easy to grasp and uh, let's check it out and make sure that it works so this is going to be the next great Super Mario Brothers game with a, a white square and a black square and a really cool looking background so okay so we can move um, we do not fall at all the gravity isn't working and we can't jump so let's go look at the code and see what's wrong here <coughs> one of the things I did all the time on my other one is spell stuff wrong so if place meeting 
um, x, y plus 1, object solid. That looks good. V speed equals negative jump speed if they're jumping. Right? V speed equals 0. Um, H speed equals speed. V speed, gravity, H speed, negative speed, H speed. I just want to make sure I spelled all those right. H speed, H speed. Yeah, they all look spelled right to me, and they're all in the right spot. So, uh, so let's see here. We've got this might be wrong. That's probably the problem. If V speed is less than 10, V speed plus equals gravity. No, actually that looks good to me. Yeah, everything looks good. If place meeting y plus 1, object solid, yeah, it looks good unless I spelled something wrong in my create event. V speed, H speed, J speed, speed, gravity. Let's move him up one really quick and see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't even fall down. This is in the step event, platform physics. If place meeting, place meeting, well not place meeting, not place meeting. Oh, haha, <laughs> look I have x plus equals horizontal speed still. Wow, that was a silly mistake. Y plus equals, you guys were probably sitting there y plus equals v speed. You guys are probably sitting there going, Ben, what the heck? It's really easy. You just didn't change the last one. But that's what happens when you copy code. If you're not paying attention, you're going to accidentally leave something how it was and not change it. But as you can see, now we've got a perfectly working platform game. I'm glad I was able to find that relatively quickly for you guys. Um, you can jump. This handles corners. And it's really, really a nice, solid code for uh, for building a platform game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'm back online, so I'll try my best to answer them all. It's hard for me, but I try really hard to answer all of your comments and questions. Um, if you like this video, be sure and like it, subscribe, check out my links in the description. I've got Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr down there, and also some stuff for a project that I'm working on for a game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and thank you guys. I will talk to you later.